Good morning, people. Welcome back to Stark Chronicle. Last time, two more levels. With nothing really still happening. However, we've got a lighthouse on the Cape to go to. Let's hope things start uh, picking up a bit. I'm a bit low on health, but uh, it's okay. There's nothing here to fight. So this is the lighthouse. Uh. We appear to be missing a lighthouse. Uh, there's a pretty decent reason for that as well. Uh, oops, didn't want to do that. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's a bit destroyed. We need to fix it somehow, I'm guessing. If we could get back to the past from here, we should be able to save press. But how in the world do we do that? Is there really a way to travel back to the past? Well, Monica did it. Can we use her at the Millia? Maybe if we had some sort of special device or something. Supposedly there's an equipment shop in Stelia Temple. Rare articles and goods. Okay, so we need to create this equipment shop. So that does mean that we need to go back to Valence Valley and do some Georama. We've got all the Geostones from here now, so we should be able to deal with it. Hopefully. So, what are we going to download today? Once they're there. A barn. A mailbox. Laundry. A well, a feeble tree, a block, block two, condition four pot torches placed, okay, Priest Bruno resides in village, well yeah I've done that one, 40 culture points, Pan resides in valley, okay, weapon shop restored, Blinkhorn resides in valley, so is the sheriff, moon, and crystal, uh, moon crystal and crest revived, Lighthouse Moon Crystal Restored. So is that everything? It is indeed. Okay. So let's start from the top. Uh, four pot torches. Do I have four pot torches? I have three. Okay, let's go and build another one. Uh, where are they? There it is. So, let's uh, place one over by uh, Ferdinand because he might need a fire. Couple by the church. Because why not? This house has the star lamp on, so it doesn't really need a torch. So, one for over here as well. So, that's the sacred torch restored. Does that give us anything else? Not really. But let's go and see it in the future, I guess. Been a change in the future. Never know, there might be a few uh, new items, new stat items for me to pick up, such as this one right here an emerald. That's actually very nice. 
Uh, any more? Anyways, Sacred Torch, I believe, is up there. Unless it's one of these. Ah, torch uh, doesn't really help that, but uh, I've already got the torch. Can I actually get up to the top there? Yeah. I'm not sure if I can just yet. Doesn't seem that way, does it? Okay. Anything over there? Can't see anything. So just the big stone to check out. I don't know if there any more chests will pop up after I've done these next uh, Giorama things. So. I'm going to check now and then once I've done everything I'll check again but I won't make you watch me go all the way through all these areas again <laughs> anyways three, uh, three things potato pie and one each of the defensive items for Max and Monica who needs the health Monica I think will have it more So, 28 defence for Max, and 24 for Monica, and Monica's got 8 more health. So, sort of uh, evens out. Anyways, Emerald. Flame, Exorcism, and Beast. 10 of each. Pretty nice. But yeah, the torches are basically the ring of torches that are now there. And I believe there's one in the centre as well, but I can't get to it just yet. Anyways, what do we have next to do? 40 culture points. Okay. Uh, do I have enough houses? I need Pan and Blinkhorn to reside in the place, and I have only two houses. I need another house. I might move Ferdinand in a moment. Uh, clean up. Okay, yeah, I'm going to move Ferdinand, I think. I'll need to move him back in, but uh, I'm going to place him over here, I think. is the way round it goes. I believe it's that way. Yeah, there's been a change in the future because I've changed uh, um, Ferdinand from not being here. And it is the wrong way. Oh well. Uh, do we have anything else? Ah, 40 culture points actually obtained, so Sacred Gate has been restored. I suppose we'd better go and check that out. Okay, where's this Sacred Gate? 
I'm gonna guess it's this. Was this here before? That thing wasn't, definitely. Fruit of Eden. So, uh, congratulations, Max. You have now eight hit points extra. I won't look around for anything more, but if it turns up while I'm looking things, I will pick it up, though. Uh, yeah. Um, I guess that's the segregate that I just got that from. So, next we have tool shop and the weapon shop. That lighthouse moon crystal restored is basically what we are doing at the lighthouse so we cannot do that one just yet but let's uh, have Pan reside in the valley. Move people in. I'm giving him the, the uh, house with the star lamp because he's a uh, artistic person and a star lamp seems a bit arty to me. Not too keen on the colour of the roof, I'm more of a purple roof kind of guy. Okay so painting the roof. I uh, should have enough paint for this. Anything more that you would like? Nope. It's been a change in the future. Something will happen. And here Pan is. I don't think there's really much in here that uh, changes, so... Actually, did I go into uh, Stuart's house? I'm not too sure, actually. Fireplace, bed, bookshelf, a drawer, a uh, fruit and veg, a lamp, plate, drawer, I guess, chair, table, uh, nothing really there. So, on to the next one. And apparently that something will happen if we go to the uh, future, so let's go and do that. Um, there we go. So, what has changed? Um... Rarity shop, star items. Hmm, a place like that might sell a star glass. Star glass? A star glass is a mysterious item that can reverse the flow of time. But it can only turn back time to a moment of deep significance to the person that uses it. If we use a star glass to go back into Lin's memory, we can get back to the time when Lin and Crest were attacked. Great idea, but it won't work unless Lin can get her memory back. Right. First, let's try to get a hold of the star glass. So, that seems a very convenient item. I might be a bit wrong there, but that seems very convenient for our needs. What do you have to say? Nothing too interesting. Uh, anything down there? Nope. Okay, in we go. Might as well go and find out about this star glass. Okay. 
crescent shaped light uh, the star okay that's the star glass it seems uh, anything else on display that I can get the uh, picture of bottle Chinese lantern King Marden Nothing really. Peeping hole and peeping pole. Sorry. Okay. Uh, milk can, chimney, peeping pole. Fair enough. And what do you? Uh, what's, is this one? Nope. I think that's all for this area. Different items have different effects. Hmm. Anyway, Star Leotard, basically another item for <laughs> uh, Monica to wear. Might as well show it, just for the heck of it. Conveniently, this is also being sold. Uh, cheese, I want to get another six of those. Mighty Healing, I will buy eight of those. Bottled Water, eight of those. Max out my Repair Powder, and Fire Star Glass as well. So, I've got everything I need from here. Anyway, Monica, we have the Star Leotard. Uh, yeah, I much prefer the striped dress in my, in my own opinion. But Star Leotard can also be Spectrum Alive, so I'll probably use it for that. Anyways, I need to go back to the uh, to the present and finish up the last bit of Georama for me. Which is uh, putting Blinkhorn in the house. And then I will have a look in the weapon shop that turns up and we will possibly go and save quest afterwards. Just possibly. Should be just uh yeah just blink on to reside in the valley. Here's a little worth thing though, he is a bit more involved even though I didn't want to actually enter the house. Ah, move people in. Set an example for safety. I need a fence or a gate around my house. So... This is why I built, uh, built up these things. Uh, okay. And the fence. Which uh, doesn't actually magnetize to the uh, to the to the gate for some reason. should do that. Okay. I do want it to be a, 
a little bit symmetrical at the very least. Uh, I guess that will do. I can't walk through there, I guess, so at least it's a bit safe. Okay, let's try to see if that works. And he does go in easy, indeed. And there's been a change in the future. Hopefully I didn't... Uh, What's it called? Uh, unbalance the platforms. They shouldn't be, but uh, there's always that possibility that might have happened. No, everything's fine. So this is sort of the way I like to set things up. Uh, sometimes not on these same platforms, but trees on every platform, one house on each platform along with the church being on on its own, sort of. And Ferdinand's one being just here, or somewhere. You don't really need to do too much for the Giorama in this area. Just make sure people's things are met, uh, conditions are met. Anyways, off to uh, the weapon shop, which is over here, I believe. Uh, a horn. Torch, and I'll pick that up in just a moment. Anything else around here? doesn't look like it. What have we got here? A pearl. Durable, lightning and exorcism. Pretty nice. As for the weapons, pot, uh, anything else here? That's a pot as well. And I'm for one uh, ideas, or photos at least. I believe that's the horn as well. Yep, yeah. that's not anything. Uh, weapon. Again, another weapon. Another horn, uh, cloth, that's an interesting one. A hat, uh, a shield. That would be weapon, no, that's a shield apparently. Uh, don't think there's anything else here. And why is that horn wearing a hat? Fair enough. Uh, there was a book there somewhere. There it is. Weapon, barrel, present shaped light. Okay. Might try that eventually. And the weapon shop itself. You can buy us one now. Since, well, you should have unlocked Sfida by this point. Sandbreaker. This is the item, uh, the weapon I was forgetting earlier. This is the one that has Fragile on it. It's not really that great, and it's actually quite high level, and it's much better to raise them naturally from the uh, swords before. Bandit Grass Art? Uh, them ones you might want to buy, since it gives you the steel ability. 
and I'm out repair powder which I'm going to max out on. Wooden box, mushroom, rotating sign. Okay. Don't think there's anything else here. No. Oh well. But that is pretty much all the diorama and the uh, items uh, and everything here, apart from the last one, which we will do once we've uh, gone back to the past and used the star lamp or star glass, whatever it's called. I'm going to make a quick trip around here and next time I will meet you on the uh, dungeon map ready to go into the lighthouse and back into the past, into Lynn's memory. Maybe we can save Crest, who knows. So until then, have a wonderful day, have lots of fun, goodbye.